Hey, what's up? I'm sure you already heard the news, but as of Friday, Brackies is gone. Now, they're one of my favorite YouTubers, one of the channels that I watch regularly to see what's new with Unity, what's going on, and to find all kinds of really cool tricks. They do a great job of explaining things and really showing new concepts in a well-edited, really well-done format. So I'm going to miss them a lot, but I'm also really excited for them because when I heard what was happening, that they were quitting and not because of any real issues, just because they'd already kind of reached their goals and they'd hit these levels that they wanted to get to and they were ready to move on to something new at an extremely early age. I was just blown away. How young they are and how early he got started or their whole team got started is really, really impressive. And I think that it's a good motivational thing for all of us. And it's something that we should pay attention to because a lot of the time it's easy for us as developers or just people in general to procrastinate and delay and say, oh, well, I'll start that later. I'll get into this later. I'll, maybe I'll make a YouTube channel next year. Maybe I'll start making my game you know, in six months and three months or when I'm four years later, you know, I, I got to go to college first or I got to go do some other thing. Maybe after I'm done with high school, whatever the excuse is, it's super easy to make these excuses and keep pushing things off. And what they did instead was just try if you go back and look at the old videos, you'll see that like they're never good. Nobody's first YouTube videos are great. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to set up 3D video in Unity. Mine is terrible. Mine is one of the worst things I've ever seen. But if you don't get started and you don't just keep trying things and iterating on them and getting better, then you always stay stuck at that beginning point. You're going to start off and it's going to be bad. Whatever it is that you do, you're going to get better over time, but you really have to put in the work and try. And what I've found a lot of the time for myself and others is that it's a lot easier to get into something like playing a video game, get it, get good at it and beat people and get that quick rush of excitement. And it's easy to get into that feedback cycle of like, I beat these guys, I leveled up, I ranked up, I got a new weapon, whatever it is, and get really, really thrilled about it. Right. And then you go on to the next day and do the same thing. But you can do that in real life too. You can do these same things and get this same excitement that you can get from video games in real life. You just have to remember to try it. And you have to remember that just like when you start off in a new video game, you're going to suck at it. You're going to fail. You're going to have a hard time. You got to keep pushing and practicing and trying and doing things. And as you do those, you'll get more successful at whatever it is that you try to push forward. Hopefully it's game programming or game development because that's the kind of stuff that I think is really awesome. But whatever it is that you like, Hopefully you'll just keep getting better at it and you'll build up those skills and you'll start to get that excitement and rush that you get from winning a video game instead of you know, going, hey, I just you know, pentakilled the enemy team. You go, hey, I just released a new video and got it done. Or, hey, I just finished coding this system for my game and now it works and it's freaking awesome, right? Those are the kind of excitement things that you can get outside of video games that I think that we need to strive for and push for more. But as you keep just practicing and trying things, you're going to get better and you're going to start to get that excitement. You're going to get that thrill and that rush, that little endorphin release that happens every time you get a little bit better at the thing or you do something a little bit better. And I find it a lot easier to get that with video game development because you get that immediate feedback and you see the thing right away. But you're going to get it with video releasing or video editing if you want to be the next famous YouTuber or TikToker or whatever the thing is of the year. You want to be good at that. You just really have to put in the effort and try. You got to get out there and just keep trying every day and make it your goal. The one thing that I've really realized is that of all the successful people I know, they all come from big, wide variety of backgrounds. Some had super rich parents. Some grew up totally poor with no opportunity at all. All of them had the same thing in common, and that's that they really decided what they wanted and that they were just going to do it and get it. They didn't think like, hey, maybe I want something eventually. I'll do something eventually. They thought, hey, this is what I want. This is what I want to be. This is what I want to do. And I'm just going to get off my ass and do a little bit of work every day towards getting it done and making progress towards that goal. And that's really what I see with Brackies, right? They started early, started making videos, started at 15, releasing videos, knowing that they're not going to be amazing and just kept pumping them out and got better and better to the point where they're like the top quality stuff on YouTube. Some of the best stuff that you can find is on Bracky's channel. So it's just that iteration, the practice, the trying, the working on it really paid off. And it's obviously paid off great for them. They're able to retire relatively early, go off and do whatever it is they want to do and explore 
the world and new opportunities, which I think is amazing. And again, I really wish I had started this at 15 instead of playing as much Command and Conquer and EverQuest as I did. Maybe cut back a little bit on those, even 50%, and had worked on my game development. I probably would have done a lot more and even been more excited a lot earlier on. So I recommend you just take a page from their book and follow their lead. Start early or start wherever you can. Whatever time it is now, whatever age you are, just start the thing that you want to do. Pick that goal, the number one thing that's like, this is the thing that I want in life and just start working towards it. Don't give up. Don't think like, hey, I'll do it later. Make a little bit of effort every day. Push towards it and make it to success. Make it so that you can have what you want to have and be where you want to be, whether that's, again, releasing a game, being a YouTube person or whatever else, or maybe being a doctor or building a space station or spaceship to go to Mars. I don't know. Do something cool and um, make the best of it. So that's all I got to say about Brachius. I'm just blown away still, but I'm going to stop talking about them and just give a quick update on stuff that I'm doing real quick. So I'm not going away anytime soon. Don't have any plans to. And I'm also going to link some of my favorite other Unity YouTubers down below so you can go check them out as alternatives to Brachius since they're not releasing new stuff. And then um, for myself, I'm just working on releasing a bunch of new updated 2020 content. So expect to see a bunch of new tutorials and courses all focused around Unity 2020, the newest technologies in there, and how to get started with it all the way up to the more advanced stuff. So it, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Um, thanks for being subscribers. If you are, if you're not, hey, please hit the button or hit the like button. And also, again, special thanks to Brackies. They've been really amazing, and I don't know what the Unity community would be like without them. So thanks again, and goodbye.